Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design this machine part in Creo Parametric. So let's get started. And to do this, first you go to new, part, solid, assign the proper name and say ok. Now to do this kind of part, the best way is first you create add material feature and then you go for remove material feature. So first I will go with add material feature and then I will go with remove material feature. And to do this, go for extrude, front plane, normal, Switch up the datum. Now draw the center line like this and like this. Draw the circle. The radius of this circle is 50. Now you draw a line from here, this side. Mirror it with this center line. Draw one more circle somewhere here. One more line from here till here, mirror it with this center line. Go for delete segment, delete unwanted segment. Now the dimensioning. First you generate all required dimension from here till here, this dimension, this dia this gap and this gap. Now when you have multiple dimension to be modified, then the easiest way is go to modify, select the dimension, one by one, all the dimension, uncheck this regenerate, drag it down and start modifying each dimension from here. Now this is 100. This is 10, this is 50, so it is correct. Now this dimension is 75, this is 56 and this is 50. Now you say ok and your sketch is modified. Now you say ok. Go for symmetry, then the total thickness is 48 and say ok. One more time you go for extrude, sketch, use previous, normal. When you use use previous, it selects the previous sketching plane. So my previous sketching plane was front, so it has selected front. Now go for reference, generate one reference here, center line, then draw one rectangle. Just like this. Now this is again 50 and say ok. Go for symmetry. The thickness is 10 and say ok. So your add material features are done. Now I will go with remove material features. So again go for extrude. Select this surface normal. Draw the circle. Then line, draw on center line, select these two lines and mirror it. Now go for delete segment, delete unwanted segment, now the dimension. Now this dia is 64 and this gap is 6. Say OK, remove material, flip it, say through all and say OK. One more time extrude, select the same surface, normal, draw the circle, this dia is 25, say OK. Again remove material, flip the direction through all and say ok. Now the last feature is somewhere here, normal, draw a circle somewhere here, the die is 12, and from here till here this distance is 20, and from here till here again it is 20. 
से ओके फ्लिप द डायरेक्शन से थ्रू ऑल एंड से ओके एंड योर पार्ट इज डन सो योर पार्ट इज डन नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू शो दिस डायमेंशन द वे इट इज गिवन हियर इन दिस पार्ट देन दैट इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल एंड फॉर दैट गो टू एनोटेट नाउ हियर यू कैन रिक्रिएट ऑल द डायमेंशन यूजिंग डायमेंशन और यू कैन कॉल ऑल द मॉडल डिवेन डायमेंशन यूजिंग सो एनोटेशन क्लिक ऑन सो एनोटेशन क्लिक ऑन दिस फीचर एंड सेलेक्ट ऑल द रिक्वायर्ड डायमेंशन एंड से ओके यू कैन पोजिशन इट वेर एवर यू वॉन्ट Now, if you want to recreate this dimension, then go for dimension and recreate the dimension. Same thing, if you want to do in your drawing, then go to the drawing. First, you generate your isometric view. And then, go to annotate, show model annotation, select the feature and select whichever dimension you required. here also you can position it wherever you want you can create center axis now the material and for that go to view appearance select the material select the part and select the part one more time this material this time i'll go with surface i'll select this surface this surface this surface this surface and this surface and your part is done so that's it from this video now you can like this video if you find this content helpful And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.